Okay guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first ever beat on the Pocket Operator. This is going to be the first one I've done, I should say, on a video. I've, I've messed around with it a little bit and done a couple of little beats with it, but this is the first time I'm going to be showing you guys live. Hopefully it gives you a good idea of what the workflow is like making a beat with one of these things. And hopefully it also shows you kind of what this thing sounds like and, and how fun it is to use, because it is a fun little thing and definitely worth getting hold of, I reckon. So there's two main ways you can record into this thing. Uh, it's sort of two styles of recording. There's melodic, which is the top eight banks. And then there's drum, which is the bottom eight banks. So when you're recording to drum, what it does is it automatically takes the sample that you've recorded in and chops it into 16 parts, puts it over the whole entire pad. And when you do melodic, it takes the sample and puts it at different notes across the 16 banks as well and gives you like a scale. I think it's just a chromatic scale so there obviously is ways that you can play different scales because of the ways because of the way that it's like laid out across the 16 pads but i've not got that far with it yet uh, i think someone actually did send me some info in instagram which i need to check out properly so i'm just going to kind of do this all with the drum anyway because i don't want the sample that i'm going to be putting in to be chopped into different notes i want it to be different parts so that's drum's going to be the most useful for that and obviously drum is going to be the most useful for chopping up the drums as well now this is the first thing that i noticed is that people say sample all the drum sounds that you want into one bank and then chop them all chop up all the start and end points over the 16 pads but the problem that you come into is unless you actually sample 16 different sounds it starts to try and cut up so for example if you had three sounds it would try and cut that up so many times that you get tiny little iterations of it so what I thought is you're never going to need more than eight banks worth of stuff, three drum sounds and five samples. Well, no, five sets of different samples. You could have loads of different samples in each one of these. You could have 16. So I don't think you're ever going to need more than that to make a beat. So I decided to put bass drum in that, snare in this and hi-hat in this one. And then what that means is you can just find it in the first pad this this might make a bit more sense later so basically when you're chopping you just find the sound and put it on the first pad and have the rest as blank and then you just use the first pad to, to pump to punch in your sounds so that was the thing that was a bit confusing to me at first was people were saying sample all your drum sounds into one bank and then chop it up but it's actually better just to put one drum sound in each bank i think so let's go ahead and get the drum sounds in obviously all the drum sounds are going to be from my lo-fi beat pack if you need to get hold of that uh, i'll put a link to it in the top right -hand corner of the video so when you're recording what you need to do is you press sound and then you select where you want to record into so i'm going to record into 13 first a bit like the sp my bass drum is always going to be bottom left and then my snare and then my hi-hat so I'm going to record a bass drum into this first, so I've got that selected now, it's flashing. And then I believe all you have to do is hold record and then have the sound play. So let's get this kick in. There we go, we've got something coming in there. So let's adjust the volume, etc. Filter. I'm using the effects button here, so trim first. Let's find it. There you go, there's volume. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the second one and get snare in. So let's just listen to that. And just a hat now, so let's go and use 15. Okay, so straight away, with one of the things you can do is hit the BPM and it gives you three options, techno, hip hop, and disco. So we're just gonna put that at hip hop. And what I'm actually gonna do first is put the actual sample in. So I'm gonna put that on nine. And I know I've not been using vinyl at the moment, but it's because I need to finish setting up my desk, which I'm gonna do this week. And then I can start recording all these tutorials by uh, using vinyl as the source rather than just getting this stuff from a laptop, so. Okay, so I've imported a sample now onto pad five. I 
And as you can see, what it does is it tries to trim it automatically. Let me just um, adjust the volume of this. So what the pocket operator tries to do is it looks at the waveform of the sample, I believe, and it tries to find points to cut it at. And to be honest, it rarely works that well. And it's only giving me tiny little samples, which obviously the, if I try and put that in a pattern, there's not going to be any kind of real flow, to be honest. So. So what I'm going to have to do is go through and trim all this now. So I'm going to hit effects trim on this one, maybe. What I'm going to do is go ahead and edit the pitch of it. The pitch on this device is absolutely amazing. So it's just something I wanted to show you anyway. So let's go to, I think it's a ton. And I think, yeah. Okay, so let's take a drum beat and get a drum beat down and then we can start to put try some samples over the top and see what they sound like. So I'm gonna go in pattern one. Okay, there we go. We've got a metronome now on the left here. You have to press you have to hold record and use the BPM and select a different setting to get the click to work. So let's go to bass drum first and you're gonna hold right. Change the snare. Let's do the hats. Okay, now we can take off the metronome. Cool, sound a lot better. Let's change the samples. And we're just going to play around with this. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. I quite like that. The as you can tell, the levels are way off at the moment. You have to go back and um, play around with those afterwards. Really, the drums are a bit too loud for the sample. Let's just have a look if we can change that here. Maybe the volume wasn't very high. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so the problem with this now is the sequencer only lets you do two bars. So what you have to do is copy the pattern 
and do half the sequence in one half the sequence in one of the patterns and the second half of the sequence in the second pattern and then what you can do with the pocket operator is you can set it to play one and two repeatedly over again so in in that order so if you select one and two it will play one and then it'll play two and it'll sound like a four bar sequence rather than just a two bar sequence it's a bit of a workaround but it does work quite well once you get the hang of it i just need to remember how to actually copy a sequence so i've got the instruction manual to hand let's have a little look I know it's over here. Copy a pattern, sorry, not a sequence, so a pattern. Hold right and pattern and press 1 to 16 to paste the active pattern to the corresponding new slot. Now we've got the drum beat in both pattern 1 and pattern 2. And I can now use pattern 1. So I'm going to select pattern and 1. You can see that's flashing now, hopefully. Now I'm going to put the first half of the sequence in here by pressing right as I put the stuff in. I really like that bit of the pattern, but it's the second bit now which I need to sort out. So I think doing four of those might be quite cool. So, um, and then a different one for the fourth one. So let's try and make a fourth one. Okay, that sounds quite cool, so I think I'm going to have to somehow wipe the other ones. There we go. Let's try that now. Uh, one, 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 two. Okay, cool. So I think there I've basically finally managed to get a beat down, which I'm happy with. As you can see, there is a learning curve with this and I'm still quite new to this one, but that sounds quite nice. The levels are all right. And I'm going to try and just jam along a little bit with that now and do some of the effects to show you guys. This video is getting quite long now, so I'm just going to cut it there, do a little jam with that. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. There's going to be loads more content with the pocket operator coming. And also, don't forget, there is going to be a giveaway for one of these. I've got another brand new one ready and waiting right here. So don't forget, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for that very soon. Details coming soon. If you're not already subscribed and you want to win this, you're going to have to be subscribed. So please smash the subscribe button. Apart from that, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you need uh, some lo-fi drum sounds, head over to my website and pick that pack up that I've got on there at the moment. Please hit the thumbs up if you like the beat and you like the content, and hit subscribe if you want to see more lo-fi stuff. And I'm going to leave you with this little beat, which I've just made with the Pocket Operator PO33. I hope you enjoy it.